just want to talk more about um, uh, autism now, or yes. in, is that okay? Just different <laughs> subjects, really. Um, <laughs> just about the, the the children that are coming through. They just yes. seem to be different, and you know, what, what's your view on on this subject? Albert Einstein was autistic. I mean, it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> most yeah. of yeah. most, my dear friend, of the situations of energy of new thinking and creativity are created by autistic people. I mean, is, it, is there more and more um, people being born with this way of thinking? Or is it a case of um, more people are labelling it? I mean, it seems that there's more people with this. Yes, I understand, my dear friend, this was always the case. There was always actually the exactly, almost exactly the same uh, configuration, percentage of autistic people, that is, people, children, adults, who, were, who had mutated slightly differently. That does not mean to say it takes anything away from them, but actually it adds to the race of humanity. If you look in any other uh, situation, collection of organisms called a species, you will define that there are similarities within this within other beings that exist. And you will find that there will be certain forms of elephant which are more outgoing or more centered in a certain way than others are. And the collection is not onerous, it is uh, completely at will with the arts and the situation of mutation, how they are created through the mutation process. The point is, because don't forget, friend, you're all mutations of one another. Uh, the point is that there are certain chemical compounds and, and also to do with certain ways of, by the use of pure oxygen, it is possible, of course, to write certain parts or band of the autistic state to enable that child to become, um, as it is, not more acceptable or more normal, but more coherent and able to communicate. Oftentimes, one of the least acquiring states of autism is the difficulty of communication, not with, least of all with parents, but also with their own siblings, with others uh, rival in many respects. The whole situation of autism should really come about within how you gain access to that mind how you set the trigger of that mind, how you acquire the trigger or show the child how they may acquire the trigger. And don't forget, every single one is different. So you cannot take a carbon copy and apply it to every one. So, yeah, the question I've got as well is that um, most people think in kind of a linear type of thing. You know, you, when you walk, you put one foot in front of the other. When you think you or talk, you kind of put one word in front of another. Okay, we do everything logically in steps. Yes. It, but it seems with autism that that's missing. It's almost like everything is just a concept. It's just there. You know, like there's some they, they, there's some people they class as savants where they don't need to calculate a mathematical equation. They just see two numbers as shapes and then see the answer as a shape. So there's no kind of logical thinking to think, oh, what's the answer? It just is. The answer just appears. So I'm just kind of wondering how that, that all works. Yes, uh, the point is that you call it logical, but to them it's illogical. It doesn't add up. And that's the reason for the, the whole systemic problem of communication within the system. Because what you have is that you're coming from a linear time field and thinking within the logical aspect of, uh, in exactly the same way, that of the time that it takes you to put food from your plate into your mouth. You gauge everything in that way, in a chronological order. That means to say that everything are parsecs of a movement or parsecs of a thought, of an aspiration, comes in the uh, equation of moments of adding up a way forward. Within autism, what happens is that it's a different spatial awareness. You do not have linear time within autism. It doesn't exist. Only at the points where your time field and theirs meet. 
The reason for this, dear friend, is because they're co-interacting with their spirit. And their spirit, your spirit, is not in the linear time field for one moment. Because your spirit is still in the spirit world. It never ever comes to the physical side of reality. So, purely and simply, what you have to do is create the pathway to it. And what happens within autistic children, oftentimes, I'm not saying every time, because often it's a very unique experience to the individual. Therefore, it means, as I say, you have to gain the key, the right key for that child. This means to say, then, that the whole auspice of autism comes within the grasp of multi-dimensional layering. And simply, your perception of linear time does not apply. So what you have to engage with in an autistic child, in some cases, are multi-layering and multifaceted ways of communication. That means to say that part of what you have to do is to find the way in to that person. And that may be the hardest and most arduous situation you ever encounter. Part of the reason, dear friend, why autistic children respond to red so readily, not just to porpoises or dolphins, but actually to fish, generally, and I suggest, friend, that many autistic families have fish as a part of their uh, background, if you like, as well as being able to eat them. Okay. I mean, there are many yeah. reasons for this, if I may just continue. Yeah. It's actually to do with a fish's spatial awareness, which is different, doesn't form in linear time, because they don't have the memory for it. What actually happens within the mammals within uh, the uh, aquatic state, such as dolphins and whales and uh, certain other cartilaginous folks as well, uh, that they think in different time sequences, not gauging in linear time, but actually uh, of a more spiritual nature and dimension, because they are more at one with their spirit. This does not, of course, stop a fish eating another fish. What happens is they do not think about why they have to do it. They simply do it in order to survive, and do not think of the consequential actions of their activity. Oftentimes, friend, this is what exactly happens to autistic children, that they think not in terms of linear time, therefore do not identify the consequential actions of their activity, and do not see it coming. Which is why it is that many autistic children are regarded as such innocents, but in actual fact, they simply live in a different dimensional field and state. Their visits into your side of life are frequent, but limited. And so what you have to do is empower them to want to interact within your lifetime span. Wow, wow. So they have no, um, I don't know, they have no awareness of um, focusing on the future or the past. They don't sort of look back and look forward. They would just, to do that. Yeah. So they're just simply here, and that's it. They just, they just exist. Yes. You will find, for example, dear friend, that once you obtain the key to an autistic child's mind, to the right frequency, to the right responsive state, that is positive, abiding, beautiful, and poetic, you will find a great revelation in every single one, without exception. The point is that you have to have the patience and the guidance in order to create that as a possibility for that child, so that they do not con contain the fear that you feel. Because your fear is based within the linear time field of what if. What if I do not succeed? What if uh, this child is left alone without me? Many of these people, situations of dire consequence come about because of their own perceptions of self and how they cannot communicate rather than looking for how they really truly may. 
and allowing that communications field to open 